Imagine this for a second. You sit down on your couch after a long day. The room is quiet. The TV lights up the wall. You grab the remote, press one button, and everything just works. No luck. No buffering. No waiting. The movie starts instantly in perfect quality. The sound feels alive. The picture feels real. And for a moment, it doesn't feel like you're watching a screen anymore. It feels like you're inside the experience. Now here's the real question. What if the next Apple TV 4K is designed to make that feeling the new normal? Because according to the latest leaks, Apple is not just updating a streaming box in 2025. They are rebuilding the entire home entertainment experience from the ground up. Over the past few weeks, multiple reliable sources have started pointing to something big happening behind the scenes at Apple Park. While most people are focused on iPhones, Macs, and AI software, Apple has quietly been working on the next generation Apple TV 4K. And this time, it's not a small refresh. The leaks suggest a major jump in power, connectivity, video quality, and intelligence. Enough to make people seriously reconsider whether buying a streaming device right now even makes sense. Because once you see what's coming, waiting suddenly feels like the smarter move. At first glance, the Apple TV 4K has always been easy to underestimate. It's a small black box. It doesn't look exciting. It doesn't scream innovation. But that has always been Apple's strategy with this product. The magic isn't in how it looks. It's in how it works. And according to these leaks, the 2025 Apple TV 4K could be the biggest leap since the very first 4K model launched years ago. Let's start with the heart of the device, the chip. This is where everything changes. The leaked reports point to Apple using the A17 Pro chip in the upcoming Apple TV 4K. Yes, the same class of chip found in the iPhone 15 Pro lineup. This is not a minor upgrade from the A15 in the current Apple TV. This is a massive jump. The A17 Pro is built on a more advanced process, with much higher CPU and GPU performance, better efficiency, and support for advanced graphics features that were never possible on Apple TV before. What does that actually mean in real life? It means the Apple TV 4K stops being just a streaming box. It becomes a high-performance entertainment computer connected to your TV. Apps load instantly. Menus feel fluid. Animations are smooth at all times. Even heavy apps with complex interfaces respond without delay. Video decoding becomes more efficient. Streams start faster. Quality locks in at the highest resolution and stays there. Dark scenes don't fall apart. Fast action doesn't turn into a blurry mess. Everything feels stable and polished. But the real shock comes when you look at gaming. The A17 Pro brings hardware-accelerated ray tracing and console-class graphics performance. This opens the door for true AAA games to run natively on Apple TV, not cloud streaming, not downgraded mobile versions. Real games running locally on the device. Games like Assassin's Creed Mirage and Resident Evil Village are already optimized for Apple Silicon. With this chip inside the Apple TV, those experiences move from your phone or tablet straight to the big screen. Pair a Bluetooth controller, and suddenly your Apple TV becomes a casual console. Not a replacement for a PlayStation 5 or Xbox Series X for hardcore gamers, but a powerful alternative for millions of households. Especially for people who don't want another big box under the TV. Or for families who want a second gaming setup in a bedroom or living room. The idea of one device handling streaming, gaming, and smart home control starts to make a lot of sense. And Apple isn't stopping there. One of the most talked about leaks is Wi-Fi 7 support. This is huge. Wi-Fi 7 offers much higher speeds, lower latency, and better stability compared to Wi-Fi 6 and 6C. For streaming, this means near instant playback even with high bitrate 4K HDR content. For gaming, it means lower input lag and smoother online experiences. For multi-device homes, it means less congestion and fewer dropouts. Think about a household where someone is watching Netflix in 4K, someone else is on a video call, another person is gaming online, and smart devices are constantly connected in the background. Wi-Fi 7 allows all of this to happen without the network choking. The Apple TV becomes more reliable, more responsive, and more future.
Proof. Another major leak that has people excited is AV1 codec support. This is something many streaming devices still lack. AV1 is a next-generation video codec that delivers better quality at lower bit rates compared to older standards. Platforms like YouTube are already heavily investing in AV1. Netflix and others are slowly moving in that direction. With AV1 support, the Apple TV 4K can deliver sharper video while using less bandwidth. This is especially important for high-resolution content and for users with limited or unstable internet connections. Combine AV1 with Apple's own video processing and you start to see why this upgrade matters. Apple doesn't just decode video. It analyzes it in real time. The system adjusts contrast, tone mapping, and motion on the fly. Dark scenes retain detail without crushing blacks. Bright scenes look vivid without blowing out highlights. Motion feels smooth without looking fake. It's the kind of improvement you don't notice on a spec sheet, but immediately feel when watching. Audio is another area where Apple quietly dominates. The next Apple TV 4K is expected to push spatial audio even further. If you use AirPods, the experience becomes deeply immersive. Sound feels anchored to the screen. Dialogue stays clear. Background sounds feel like they come from around you. Even with TV speakers, Apple's processing can create a wider soundstage that makes everything feel more cinematic. Now let's talk about intelligence. This is where Apple is making a big shift. Apple intelligence is slowly expanding across devices, and the Apple TV is a perfect place for it. According to leaks, the next Apple TV 4K will feature deeper on-device intelligence for content discovery, recommendations, and voice control. Imagine saying, play something funny, and getting results that actually match your taste. Not random comedy shows, but content similar to what you usually enjoy. Imagine asking for a short movie, something from the 90s, or something you watched last week, and the system understands without you repeating yourself. Siri becomes conversational, context-aware, useful. The key detail here is privacy. Apple processes this intelligence on device as much as possible. Your viewing habits are not sent to ad networks. Your preferences are encrypted. The system learns without spying. In an industry where data is constantly harvested, this approach stands out. The remote is also expected to get smarter. Leaks suggest improved haptics, better ergonomics, and more precise controls. And yes, the ability to find the remote when it disappears into the couch. A small feature, but one that solves a daily frustration almost everyone has experienced. Ecosystem integration remains Apple's biggest advantage. Your iPhone can instantly become a keyboard, a controller, or a personal audio device. AirPods connect automatically. You can start watching something on your phone and continue on your TV without touching a button. Apple Watch can control playback. HomePods sync for audio. Everything works together without setup menus or confusion. The Apple TV also acts as a smart home hub. Lights, cameras, locks, thermostats, and sensors can all be controlled from the TV. You can check who's at the door without leaving the movie. You can dim the lights from the couch. This kind of integration feels natural, not forced. Setup is expected to remain simple. Bring your iPhone close, confirm once, and everything transfers. Accounts, settings, preferences. You're watching content minutes after unboxing. Pricing is still a leak, but expectations point to a small increase. Possibly around $149 or $169. Considering the power inside and the long software support Apple offers, that price spread over five to seven years feels reasonable. Compared to competitors like Roku, Fire TV, or Chromecast, the Apple TV 4K positions itself as the premium, long-term option. My honest opinion? If these leaks are accurate, the 2025 Apple TV 4K could be the most complete home entertainment device Apple has ever made. It's not about flashy features. It's about removing friction, making everything faster, smoother, and more enjoyable. Streaming, gaming, smart home control, and intelligence in one small box. This is the kind of product that doesn't shout. It just quietly improves your daily life. And once you experience it, going back feels impossible. If Apple delivers on even most of what's rumored, 
This won't just be an upgrade. It will. I'll be a reset for what a streaming device should be. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the next update.